Hello everyone. Her father sent his kid to bed and went to watch television in the living room. Five minutes later, the boy called to his father. Dad, can you bring me a glass of water, please? The dad answered, No, you will be fine. You should go back to bed now. After five minutes, the boy called out again. Dad, can you get me a glass of water, please? The dad replied, No, go to sleep. After another five minutes, the boy called out again with the same request. The dad, very annoyed this time, said, No, you are fine, go to sleep. And if you ask again, I will come up there and spank you. The boy immediately said, Dad, when you come up here to spank me, will you please bring me a glass of water? Friends, putting children to bed can be a difficult task for many parents. Tired and weary, some will do anything to get their children to go to sleep. And children will come up with all types of excuses and reasons to stay up late to have their parents beside them until they fall asleep. The boy in the story did just that. He wanted something more than just water. He wanted the presence of his dad for a little longer. Friends, today we read one of the simplest gospel stories. The story of Martha and Mary. While Jesus and his disciples were on their way to Jerusalem, the sisters invited him into their house. Their decision to host Jesus and others involved a great deal of time and effort on their part. Martha did just that. She wanted to be a good hostess and began to look for ways in which she could make Jesus and the others feel comfortable and happy. But her sister Mary was talking and listening to the Lord. This displeased Martha and she complained to Jesus that Mary was not helping her with the preparations. Jesus gently admonished Martha for being overly anxious and troubled about many things and said to her that Mary had chosen the better part which will not be taken away from her. Friends, both sisters loved Jesus and both wanted to do their best for him, but they had different temperaments and very different ways of demonstrating their affection and care. Martha showed her love for Jesus through service, cleaning the house, cooking and serving meals. Mary showed her love for Jesus by being with the Lord. The key difference between these two sisters was not that one served and the other just spent her time talking and listening to Jesus, but that one had lost her focus on Jesus and the other was paying full attention to him. Martha had taken her eyes off Jesus. She had lost her perspective of why she was serving Jesus in the first place. No doubt, she wanted to do her best for Jesus, but was distracted by her many tasks and all that surrounded her, particularly by her sister's behavior. Her love for Jesus was perhaps a bit devoid of joy. Friends, our love for God may be expressed in many ways, forms and means, and we can express this love within the church and outside the church. Because we are living in different geographical areas, different circumstances and different surroundings, and each of us has different temperaments, personalities, talents, gifts, abilities and vocations. The only thing necessary for a Christian, therefore, is to focus on Christ, the source and goal of our faith. Whether it be a few words of praise to God or ten hymns of praise, whether it be one hour of worship or a few hours each week, whether it be an offering of one dollar or one hundred dollars, whether it be giving just one hour of time 
or countless hours of voluntary service to our community and to those in need. God accepts all offerings in an equal manner. So, no matter what or how we contribute to God's mission or God's work on earth, we should never lose our focus on Christ, who taught us to love our God with all our heart, with all our strength, and with all our soul, and with all our mind. We must love and serve God for His glory and for His name's sake. However, we must remember that while we show our love for God through our regular acts of service and devotion to Him and other ways, listening to God's word and praying is even more important. Even though our desire to serve our Lord is valuable and important, knowing God and being in His presence need to take priority in our life. Oftentimes, a little more time in His presence is all we need for. As St. Paul writes in his letter to the Colossians, which we read today, It is He whom we proclaim, admonishing everyone and teaching everyone with wisdom, that we may present everyone perfect in Christ. Amen. God bless you.